There hasn't been anything organized in the tropics either there, Ainsley. Yeah, now you may remember just six days ago was the peak of hurricane season and on that day there was absolutely no areas being monitored for tropical development. Now that we've turned the page on the second half of hurricane this season, there's a little more activity on the way. So the Atlantic is waking up just a little bit. We're monitoring two areas of potential tropical development. You see that one in red there. We'll get to that in just a minute. First, I'll talk about this one that just appeared. Now this is a tropical wave that rolled off the western coast of Africa is now showing some signs of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. So something we'll keep our eye on over the next week or so, but right now has low chances of overall development. Something looking much more promising is this area in red here. This has been deemed an invest, which is what the National Hurricane Center gives an area of potential tropical development when they think that a tropical depression or a tropical storm is likely to form within the next seven days. So the area that you see here is likely to become a tropical depression or storm within the next 48 hours. But what does that mean for us here in the US? Well, we got to turn to the upper levels for a little bit here. If we play this out to the weekend, by the time Invest would be moving towards the United States, well, we're going to have a bit of a change in the jet stream, and that actually will act as a steering mechanism to keep this system away from us regardless of what it forms into. We'll need to keep our eyes on Bermuda and kind of see where this system ends up turning for them. But overall for the United States, it's looking like we will be in the clear. So as we kind of look at the rest of the names again, that will likely take the name Gabrielle sometime today or tomorrow. And then the next one would be the H name Umberto. So we'll keep our eye on the tropics, but overall good news is in store for the US. I'm meteorologist Ansley Parker. Back to you guys.